Hi Aries, thank you for joining me for your June bonus read. Please remember that this is still a general reading, so it's not going to resonate for everyone, and that includes cross watches. Okay, so Aries, we've got your energy towards the individual that you're dealing with on this side. We've got the individual that you're dealing with over here and then the potential future outcome in the middle. Now, you can switch the decks around if you feel that you're resonating more on this side, then absolutely do take it. But never try and force anything to fit your timeline. OK, so I'm going to speed up this part of the video so that you're not watching me shuffle through three tarot decks. OK. So Aries towards their person in love, please. Okay, so Aries, the zodiacs that I can see in your read, you've got uh, Sun in Virgo with your Eight of Coins, your Ten of Swords is Mercury in Gemini, your Two of Wands is Mars in Aries, the Three of Wands is Sun in Aries, and the Star is Aquarius. You've got a star here twice. Uh, the Seven of Wands is Mars in Leo. The shadow side is Capricorn energy. The Six of Swords is Mercury in Aquarius. Your Queen of Cups is Cancerian. The Four of Wands is Venus in Aries. And your Nine of Cups is Jupiter in Pisces. You've got the Eight of Coins here again. Uh, the Two of Cups is Venus in Cancer. Your Six of Coins is Moon in Taurus. Your Four of Cups is Moon in Cancer. Your Nine of Wands is Moon in Sagittarius. The King of Wands is uh, Leo energy. And then you've got the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords. So the, there is um, action and thought. Your current energy is very action orientated and the individual that you're dealing with is um, they're, they're in their feels massively. Um, they've got a lot of noon energies on their side of the table. And at the moment, it's like you're currently really, really busy. Um, coming out of an old situation. Now, for the most part, I'm not feeling that this individual is the one that is responsible for your hurt. I'm feeling quite strongly that for most of you, you're currently working through a hurt that is from an older connection. And that's why this individual is currently in their feels and they haven't yet taken action on their desires towards you. Because they can see that at the moment you are currently future building. It's like you, you're removing your emotions out of your current plans. Um, so you are trying to remain very realistic here about your future. I'm feeling for the most part that a lot of you are currently heavily focused on your work or another kind of project that is currently keeping you busy. It is acting as a bit of a distraction here from your pain. So um, it's, it's literally just the way that you prefer to deal with your current hurt because there is a painful ending here and there has been some kind of betrayal that, um, that you're trying to work your way through. And for most of you, you're finding that by keeping busy, that's providing you with the distraction that you need. 
in order to heal. And you are healing and you are rebuilding and you're also being very, very successful because your energies are going into something that um, is providing you with some kind of finances. So by you focusing on your finances, because you feel that at the moment that is one of the things that you can control. And um, so by focusing on that, that is serving you well at the moment. Um, so the old connection that has left you in that sort of Ten of Swords mode, that connection was very, very toxic. And you've taken a vow here to yourself, never ever to repeat that old cycle with that particular individual. I'm feeling that that individual, you gave them multiple chances and every single chance that you gave them, they stabbed you in the back every single time. So now that you're disconnected or in the process of disconnecting from that situation, um, th there is definitely this promise here that you've made to yourself that um, no longer would you ignore red flags and yeah it's it's really keeping you going at the moment you you're persevering you're pushing through and you i i really do like that energy for you because it's like yeah you can push me down but you're not gonna keep me down um you're also looking at that particular situation from a higher perspective. Um, there, there is also an energy of gratitude here in your particular read, Aries. Um, you, strangely enough, feel grateful to the betrayer because if it weren't for them, then you wouldn't be currently applying yourself. <clears throat> in your studies or your work situation with as much determination as you currently are. So in part, um, it's almost as if you're thanking them a little bit for the success that you're now reaping in. So there's a danger here to avoid giving them too much credit um, because the true credit lies with you. Yes, they might have provided you with the fuel to help you better yourself, but ultimately you need to give yourself more credit. Um, so yeah, you're just looking at that particular situation from a higher perspective and you, you're seeing the blessings that um, that, that you're now reaping that came through being betrayed. Uh, that ending, it opened the door for you for other opportunities, for other things to come in. There's also an energy here of your it's kind of like a free spirit vibe here with the white flowers because whenever I see white flowers in tarot it reminds me of the white flower that the fool holds in his hand. He holds a single white flower and that is indicative of somebody who's feeling a lot more free and um, feeling that they have a lot more options kind of like a like almost like a bit of a boundless energies to them. So it's like um, nothing is beyond your reach. It's like that sort of free spirit. And yeah, you, you really are genuinely picking up your, um, picking up your staff of power, if you like here. And it's like anyone who gets in your path, you're gonna hit them over the head with it and carry on basically. Um, th there is very much the vibe here of you've lost your last F to give. Um, 
and yeah you're just charging through and you're determined here to to succeed basically a little bit of the devil may care attitude here um which i approve in the meanwhile aries you have this individual in your energies and for the majority of Aries this individual is at a workplace or in say um, say if you're in college or university or any other kind of area of learning that's where this individual is because you've got the eight of coins and it's in their energies as well all right so this this is showing me that this individual is either at your workplace or at your area of study they're seeing you as their two of cups this is what you're currently doing the eight of coins and how they see you, eight of coins. So this is definitely somebody who is in a very close proximity to you, Aries. They're literally, they, they share the same room as you. That's how close they are. And they haven't yet verbalized how they feel towards you. So this is a secret admirer and they would like to verbalize their emotions to you here with the two of cups how they feel about you ace of wands six of coins and four of cups you're dealing here with an individual who they definitely have got their eye on you they definitely have got a lot of passion towards you and they, they they would like to share with you but they're scared they are sh scared of rejection here with the four of cups they are currently in the nine of wands energies so they're, they're currently in hot pursuit of you aries and for, for the most part and um, that's going to be a bit of a surprise because some of you would have had your suspicions about this particular individual but you felt that you didn't have anything that was tangible so you ignored it and you carried on focusing on your own journey so this individual is it is actually really really sweet um, because they're in hot pursuit of you and they they are determined to face their fear of rejection what do they want to do king of coins ace of swords yeah I'm, I'm smiling because i can feel how much love and admiration this individual's got for you and when when they come out with it it is actually going to bring a tear to your eye because for some of you you've waited for this um th for this kind of energies from an individual for many many years it's something that you've wanted to share you've wanted to share your heart with somebody who's honest and loving and genuine and every time you've just ended up with another sword in your back so when this individual take the action that they want to take towards you it is genuinely going to make your heart sing um king of wands that that's someone who takes action on what they want right there and their truth with the ace of swords to transform the connection that you share with each other now a lot of the fear from their side of the table is coming in through um they feel because again that the situation where they have met you um that there's something there that feels that it could be a little bit inappropriate so for example um a work colleague 
that they they could feel that um, that there's something that's a little bit inappropriate about that. Just in case things go wrong, then you'd still have to share the same sort of workspace. Um, so that is definitely a concern for them, and that's why they um, they weren't so forthcoming with their emotions up until now. They genuinely do feel that they cannot wait any longer, though, um, to bring you this in. They, they genuinely feel that um, now is the time. The potential future outcome for you both, Six of Swords, Queen of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Star and the Nine of Cups. That's quite possibly simply the best potential outcome that I've seen in a read for a very, very long while, in general reads. Um, so your potential future outcome is literally Aries. You're going to be dropping the baggage from your past, never to return ever, ever again to that sort of state. So what you've been through is literally the worst that it will ever, ever get. From here on in, the only way is up, literally, with this particular combination. And also, wishing upon a star, nine of cups, wish granted, wish fulfillment. So Aries, at some point you have made a wish, you said something, and this combination is letting us know that you've been heard, you have been heard, and your wish is going to be granted here. This individual, I'm seeing really, really clearly, you're going to be settled down and married with them. And through this connection that you share with each other, you're going to be each other's ally. You're going to be very, very healing for each other. And you're equally going to be sharing. Um, you're going to be sharing everything here, um, including keeping each other um, keeping each other on the straight and narrow. So it's kind of when this when this is in a potential outcome with the four of wands. This is like. Uh, mutually healing each other, mutually respecting each other. Um, it's like that. there's no arguments. It's more of a, um, it's healthy debates between individuals because it's the star. It's healthy, it's healing, it's nurturing, it's rebuilding. Um, this is the energies that you're going to be providing for each other on an equal basis. It's both of your wish fulfillments here. I'm looking in this particular read, I'm looking at somebody's um, happy ending, literally. Th th this is somebody's fairy tale ending that I'm reading out here. And yeah, it's. Um, it is tugging on my heartstrings here a little bit. Um, yeah, because Aries, you have been put through the battles and I see with the Ten of Swords that it's like you've been put through so much that was unnecessary and it was always brought on by other individuals. It's like you always caught the short end of the shit stick, basically. And this read is saying that's ending. That, that all ends now. Go into the nose for Aries, please. Okay. <clears throat> So you've got creativity, virtue, cooperation, evolution and peacefulness. So this individual, um, as we've already seen in your tarot, um, 
they are very very loving they're, they're you're both very spiritual individuals you both work really really well together there's a creative energy here between you both um, this project this could well pertain to some kind of creative project or you just both really sort of creative thinkers um, evolution and peacefulness peacefulness that's literally all that you've wanted your entire life Aries and um, you don't want to be fighting every 10 minutes you don't want to have to be put in situations where you feel that you have to defend yourself all you want is a peaceful and peaceful and quiet life and that's that's literally what is showing in your cards with this connection you are going to get your wish fulfillment you're evolving is there anything else for Aries, please? Aries in love. Is there anything else for Aries? Thank you. Atlantis. Rapid development, excellence and success. Right, it says... <clears throat> uh, I can't see it, it's tiny. Uh, greater powers of communication and less fear. Honouring your talents and your higher calling, feelings of bliss, connection, higher powers and abilities are returning to you. A sharpening of your abilities and a desire to develop them. Flow, high vibrations, sophistication, brilliance is heightened. Um, an urgent desire to do something meaningful. Yeah, so again, that's literally when some of you were wishing for a meaningful connection and um, it's already around you and you're also uh, for the for the most part as well you're developing your spiritual gifts as well and paying attention um, paying attention to your gifts whereas you probably um, didn't really utilize your spiritual gifts in the past and for some of you, in fact, your intuition was blocked off by wanting to see the good in those who didn't necessarily deserve. So their energies were kind of blocking off your intuition. Um, but you're, you're certainly paying attention to them now. Something else for Aries, please. Something else for Aries, please. Okay. Right, so we've got new moon in Taurus. Prosperity lies ahead. Get or give a massage. Healthy body, healthy mind. And it also says you'll soon be able to afford the thing that you're dreaming of. Getting clear on what you value will help you to find your peace and take time to pamper yourself. Yeah, it's, it's definitely um, long overdue, Aries, for you to do something that is kind for you. Right, and I will pull some Zodiac cards as well, and we'll see if we can get a clearer picture on the Zodiac of the individuals that you could be dealing with. Okay, so this particular deck is going to be very 50-50 um, about whether it's applicable for you or not. Some Zodiacs, please, for Aries. Who? Okay, so we've got Saturn. And that is Capricorn energy. So some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, again, it's a strong indication here that this particular connection is playing out in a work or a learning environment. So any other zodiacs for Aries, please? Who could Aries be dealing with, please? Thank you. Right, top two. So we've got Leo and the third house. So some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Leo or a Gemini. 
Yeah. And the third house again is saying your potential to learn something and your local neighborhood. Yeah. So work, learning, environment is very, very dominant in your read Aries. OK, so um, that is what I have for you, Aries. Please like, share or subscribe if that has resonated for you. And thank you so, so much to those of you who have already supported my channel. I appreciate every single one of you. <clears throat> if you'd like to book a private reading with me, then that information can be found in my descriptions box below. So thank you again, Aries. Please do take care out there and we shall speak again soon. Bye.